When an interviewer asked for OTNITUT standard, I believe you answered correctly as ITUTG.709. But, do you know? There are other standards also used in OTN framework. In this video we'll discuss about ITUT standards used in OTN framework. The main recommendations from ITUT which define the OTN is G.871, which defines the framework for optical transport network and provides an overview of the different recommendations or you can say all OTN standard associated to it. In framework, first we have network architecture with two recommendations that describing the architectural aspects of an OTN G.872 and G.873 the G.872 describes the layered network structure including client and server associations, network topology, signal transmission multiplexing and routing. The second recommendation, G.873 defines OTN applications including interconnection with other networks. Next we have for term and definition G.870 which provides an overview about OTN terms and definitions. Then, we have signal structures, and mappings which comes in G.709. It's describe about signal structures, and mappings of OTN. Also describes the network node interfaces, necessary to enable the interconnections of OTN, network elements, and to transport the client signals, in the OTN. Next is for equipment functional characteristics, G.798. It describes the functional characteristics of equipment containing, OTN layers. Next is for management information models, are described in G.875. It describes the management information models for network elements of the OTN. In addition next is for equipment management aspects, G.874. It's describe capture management aspects of optical network elements, specifying management functions for fault management, configuration management and performance monitoring, regardless of the client. Addition to it we have several recommendations cover the physical layer. G.959.1 provides interface specifications. G.671 describe transmission aspects related to components, for OTN equipment. And G.664 describes optical safety procedures, and requirements. We also have for protection G.873.1, which describe the, the protection requirement of OTN. In addition in framework we have for, Jitter and Wonder performance, covered in G.8251. For error performance, covered in G.8201. And for maintenance, covered in M.2401. These recommendations mainly describe, the error performance, maintenance aspect. Here is the complete framework for OTN. I believe this video was helpful.